doing for CodeCamp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures. We are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 59 of 113. So today we are going to learn about uh, conditional logic with if statements. So if statements are used to make decisions in code. The keyword if tells JavaScript to execute code in the curly braces under certain conditions defined in the parentheses. These conditions are known as Boolean conditions and they only and they may only be true or false. When the condition evaluates the true, the program executes the statement inside the curly braces. When the Boolean returns false, the uh, statement inside the curly braces does not execute. So pseudocode, this is the example. We have our if statement, and then we have our condition inside the parentheses, and then uh, the code to be executed if the condition is true. If it's false, it will not execute this code. That's all it is saying. So we have our function test, a con my condition, it takes in uh, this is a function takes in the, con the variable my condition and then if my condition is true it returns it was true and that's inside these curly braces and when it returns that ends the function if it does not meet this condition none of this code will execute none of this code will execute and then it will hit that so there's essentially an else statement here but you, there's no need for one because there's a return statement inside this condition uh, so test true returns the string it was true and test false returns the string it was false because it's evaluating the condition if the, if uh, my condition is true it'll execute if it's false it will not execute this and it'll just simply hit this all right so we're simply going to create an if statement inside of the function to return yes that was true if the parameter was that true is true uh, and return no that was false otherwise so this is just teaching us about if statements. Um, we'll probably learn about else statements in the next lesson, I'm sure. But uh, we really just need to model this off this one. So we can say if was that true. And by saying if was that true, we're checking if it's true. We don't even have to say equals true. But that's the same thing as just saying if was that true? Uh, and then curly braces. So if it is true, all this will execute. And we want to return. Yes, that was true. And then outside of this conditional check, this if statement, we can just say return. No, that was false. Because if it hits this return, that'll end the true or false function. If it does not enter this code, it'll execute this because that is outside of the conditional parentheses. So that should do it. And again, if was that true, this variable is true, is equal to true, it'll execute this. But really, we don't even need this. It's, this is saying the exact same thing. If was that true, is it true? Is it false? And that's the same thing. That works. All right, that's all we needed for this one. I hope to see you guys in the next lesson.